What's up guys? This is the Rofman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Denmark. So to round off where we left off, uh, we captured the city of Tbilisi which hates us because they have a university and a smart and we also took the Ottoman city of Cairo. So now we have opened up war on a few flanks. Um, I could take Baghdad but I'm interested to see what the AI would decide to do. Yeah, we've taken Georgia, we've taken Egypt. Let's check our techs out for a minute before we carry on. No, don't bother with Diamond. Go on to Platoon Firing to get the gain in training time. Tra gain in training level. These two universities are being destroyed because you don't need... Technically that one might be handy to have, but I'm really not that bothered. Because it's another modern university, so it might be handy. But in general, I'm pretty happy. It's probably not the min-maxi thing to do, but I'm happy with it. Let's check out our prestige. So right now we are... Oh, I think it's because we're, we're, a, we're a minor nation. We don't get to show up on this list. Even though I'm sure we should be way up there. We've technically won the campaign, but I want to do a world domination. So let's carry on. Oh yeah, our p army's pushing up the east are still on their way towards Russia. How the world responds. The French have just killed the United Provinces, it looks like. But then again, they did rebel. See, what I'm interested to do is if I kill the French, you, you demand money off of me. How dare you? How dare you? Technically, giving the money might have been the smart thing to do because they would help fight against. Ooh, where are the Spanish going? They would help fight against the Ottomans, but to be honest, I don't really mind. Let them fight against the Ottomans for all I care. Oh, well, the conquest is continuing. And the Prussians again. They act as though I want them, as though I need them. The answer is no, I do not. Especially as you're hostile to me. Clear off. There is no sense to make... There's no need to make peace when peace is not in my favour. Whereas the Ottomans, let's see what they do. I want them to come near me. I want to fight a river battle. Oh, some armies are trying to flank around. They're forming another great stack with all their fragments to the east. Their armies are falling back from Cairo. See, it's so much nicer being able to at least see things. Rather than it just being a... Um, a static picture. But our time is coming. Especially when the, our armies to the, to the east push up and start tearing through the Russia via Siberia. Or not Siberia. What is Siberia, I think, mostly? That will be... The ruling classes have written a letter of demands to your national leader as they are... Un yeah, not anymore. Wow, wait a minute. Okay, good. <laughs> thought everything had gone, everything had broken for a minute there. Although, they're happy enough, I suspect, that if I did this... Oh no, they do still, they are still really unhappy with me. So you might have to sit there for a few turns. Okay, let's take this fragmented army and you go chase down this guy who wants to slip through the, slip around the back. So he has killed them. And be ready. Let's upgrade some of our economic buildings in Azerbaijan. It's this army under Hinterstrom. You cannot successfully leave. Taki. Got some raids. Still military. I'm not gonna upgrade you because you'll probably get raided. Armenia's just got first level roads. Let's keep expanding our roads. Expanding our industrial base. This is where so much of our cash is gonna come from. Trade isn't gonna even matter at this point. San Cristo, let's upgrade you. Lots more top tier buildings. So they want to start 
generating some priests and sending them west. I think now's probably time to hit Baghdad. Especially got lots of just skirmishes. So let's hit Baghdad and we'll have opened at least. Our offensive is going swimmingly. So let's see balls. Because you want to keep Baghdad. Okay, so let's put our guns up onto higher terrain. Well, it's not strictly speaking higher terrain there, but they can lob shells over. So let's make a flanking division here. Our main battle line here. Our howitzers are going to move up with them. Our mountain troops are going to be with the flanking flanking army and let's keep our cover on the flank as well although it looks like there's not going to be too much cleverness involved our question is where are their scouts there they are Eh, it's just a limb of my howitzers. Let's run my infantry to not give them a chance to move their skirmishes very much. So I ran my I wanted to run my horse guards in to get them to reveal their archers as quickly as possible. I think I want to keep them ready to deal with their cavalry. Yep, in come the howitzers. In comes the artillery. If you don't reveal your troops, you give us only a few units we can attack. So it is going to mean they'll have some hidden archers somewhere, which I'm probably going to run straight into. But if they do, they do. Hit the deadly horsemen. Because they will have to reveal themselves at some point. Here, ask some garrison as I. Whoa! Go for it! Look at that! I mean, these are heavy cavalry after all, so they love these guys. I mean, I'm prob <laughs> I probably could lose this heavy cavalry in it, but man. What I want to worry about, not worry about, but what I want to do first is something like there you go, my cavalry's held them up. Fall back. Even then, you guys fall back. Dropping in damn artillery shots. Everyone's making ready. In comes the howitzer shells. Get mown down. 
by obscene amounts of musketry. Hey, there's more up here. This set of guns, you open fire on them. Look at that, it's delicious. Any horsemen are now currently intact. Are they charging? Well, all of you guys hunker down into square formation. If any swordsmen try to charge me, but they are going to get themselves mightily frustrated. I need to be careful about throwing in my cavalry. Because their units are sporadically coming back. See off these hillmen. The skirmishers are returning once more. Gets a bit close to them. Halt all the artillery fire for now. Well, except for my heart says if they've got range to do, do to do anything, which it seems like they do not. Their archers are at point blank. They're good archers. There's more to it than that. Especially my cavalry is now very peaky. We're just going to have to be content with slaughtering them with musketry. Especially as poor as ours, point blank range. are involved there. Because archers aren't terrible, but when you've got a load of muskets, they're not quite good enough. So mountain troops can focus on that lone unit. Pretty cool. Can you guys push up. Let's, let's see what my mountain troops and weak unit of heavy cavalry can do. So they're lining up to attack my mountain troops, but now they're fleeing because skirmish orders kicked in. Yep, and they're done. Oh, I'm just going to end it there. My cavalry is not strong enough to really take advantage of it. But there we go. Lost 400 men again. And the region is ours. We might be about to get immediately counterattacked. Yeah, I'm going to keep the Pasha's Palace. Destroying people's culture and things like that in this game isn't really as important as it was in Rome. It's just the religion element, but you can deal with that. 
separately. So if I move you guys out... Yep, so hit this guy here, Mr. Baghdadi. That is the general surname. It's not me being a bigot. <laughs> Just before we hit anyone. <laughs> Got any ideas? So let's take you guys. Let's recruit another unit of cavalry. But we might get some camels. Because you're refitting in Cairo. Sweet. Let's upgrade you to a trade port. Because Jerusalem's got a shipyard, which when I capture can be in my main shipyard in the Middle East. Cool. Okay, we upgrade this building to a church school. Thank you, so you to Astrakhan. You to move up and hit Ufa. Ha ha, the Blitzkrieg through the mountains is soon. Well, not, not really a Blitzkrieg, is it? Good Michael Hogan, brave soldier. Trait gain, Michael Hogan, plus one to command. Oh, he's an attacking general. This guy's pretty good. He's got Eastern Mystic as well, so plus two to command when in battle against the Ottomans. Let's destroy this college. Let's build this craft weaver because it's sat in, right in an area we can directly protect. Done all the buildings, a fleet arriving. Ah, oh, this is a rake, isn't it? Um, hmm. Let's deposit them off the coast of Morocco. So he has to get into this city to cross over the strait. Then this fourth rate, you've not got the range, but see if you can make it in a couple of turns. Sail over and join get into Alexandria. Some more raids, and that's cool. Captured Iraq, or Baghdad. This army at Yerevan is primed to move up. Actually, they can move up. They might wait one more turn. Well, I did see there was a school in Mosul. Ah! Could take Port Royal. Um, yeah, why not? Actually, this could be a fascinating. Next turn, it will be. But if we attack now, well, if we attack now, it may, it'll be a fun battle. Bit of artillery attacking a small fort. What's not to like? Awesome. So let's take the guns, focus on one corner, and make our way in. See, I really like swarming one section of the wall. I normal, like, like I don't often spread out because it feels like you end up spreading your effort out in a lot of places. Whereas if you focus on particular area you can overwhelm and you've also got more forces in place to exploit gaps sweet blow a hole in that wall you guys fire quick climb at whatever you're going to shoot at shoot this section here Still a not insignificant chunk of men. There's some buccaneers outside the walls. Let's speed up time a little bit. That's when this is finished. I'm going to go out for a walk outside to get some daily exercise. I went to the gym yesterday. I'm going to go out for a walk today. And then come back. Well, actually, I'll set all these videos to render. Then... I'll go for a walk. Speed up times to let these guys knock down the wall. Eh, 
gonna try hit this unit. Try one of these. One of these. Uh, try one of the suggestions to shoot at these kind of units to take advantage of the oval slash egg shaped nature of the landing pattern. So it will be very effective. If they're on target, it could destroy this unit completely. <laughs> Missed. One thing to remember about Russian units is they are very capable in melee, so you want to be a bit careful. When charging hand combat, just got to be thankful there's not too many of them. Well, there we go, stop them down by about 90 men ish. No, not 90, close to 50. Section of the wall is destroyed, so set quick line to start attacking the units blockading the wall. Not blockading the wall, trying to defend the wall. But while we're also thinning them out, we are also going to move up these guys. Let's move up a some of my fusiliers, just in case they fancy sailing out. Let's move up some of our conscripts as well. So you guys go straight up to the wall. You guys get up there. You guys get up there. So right now this is lots of buccaneers, they're all light infantry, or usually the light infantry. Um, so this could be a bit bloody. But we have got absolutely buckets of men to throw out the wall. Men up there. That's a missed quick climb, killed a bunch of hidden buccaneers. Okay, I think they are going to try and charge out of the out of their uh, defences towards us, in which case to start directing our artillery to drop a line to drop Artillery shots on the breach. Ingenious stratagem, sir. That colonial line infantry could cause us some problems. Yep. Losing men significantly quickly. You guys take the gatehouse, then you'll run back to support this infantry. Although, really, that's why I've got all these guys. Ours. So we can rush through. You might actually attack the Buccaneers instead. Because you've already got a unit over here to attack the Russians. That's right, we're slowly going to start feeding men into attacking the rear of their position. Come on, you guys. going after those cheeky buccaneers. We've got 
more, charging up the walls to try and stop us. Sorry to focus on killing these colonial line units. So once to get these guys set up into lines, they just start shooting at everyone they can. If you guys don't want to attack, you guys can run off the wall. Take up a firing position. Good, starting to kill the Russians. You guys charge on. Oh, we've made them drive. We've driven them even more to the edge of insanity. And they've started to push through the breach again the arms of our waiting fusiliers, although they want to stand there and die. They want to offer sacrifice to the orthodox gods. There we go, so these guys are all within my firing arcs. Okay, definitely set you to do this. Column. What are you guys doing? Damn, that was a great quick line shot. It's also absolutely a brilliant time just to burst my cavalry, cavalry through the breach because they've got absolutely nothing to stop me there. Two buccaneers. Two very elite buccaneers. Well, not one very elite buccaneer, but... He can't hold the line against all of my dudes. Oh, there he goes. So now, just get up the wall in general. just to go kill off this final Russian gun crew. No, stop climbing down the wall at ropes, you fools. Let's hold the quick line now. Let's see. Actually, you're very weakened, so you take a position on the wall. Actually, no, you're both pretty weakened, so you can both afford to... Fire it well. To be honest, I probably ignore the breach because my cavalry is about to come storming in as much as they absolutely didn't need to wait till now. God, this whole sports grand guards are really lovely. You see how easy it is to quickly bung up cavalry in the breach? You have to very much run through them. Run through breaches with cavalry. This infantry is waiting on one guy. Just 
run the cavalry in to just take out their line infantry and run one cavalry unit to go and take in take the uh, take the square it's the 91st in their weakened state they're absolutely not going to defend on their own there's one militia unit Oh no, they, all, they have also routed. The poor... You see, these poor Russians on this outpost stood no chance. End battle. Major Russian possession. Then we're going to sail back up to the north to take out uh, their other one. The I can't remember the name of it right now. As my forces combine for... Let's see what the AI does. But right now, for the Danish Empire, things are going magnificently. <laughs> no, I'm not going to give you anything, especially not, I'm not going to give away a good naval, a good um, good military land warfare technology for a a bit of naval techs. You want trade agreements, you want an alliance, and you demand money. No, we are currently on a war footing with the world now. You also demand money. No. You wait, Spain. We're going to punch across Europe and you're going to be ripe. Ripe for the plucking. The Simon hit Cairo, may involved in the attack of Jerusalem and Damascus, then they will come back along the North African front and clear their way along the continent. That's right, Ottomans. You fall back. You can't withstand our forces. We are too many. We are too developed. We are too advanced. We are too powerful. I mean, you can raid some stuff if you like. Oh no. Of her, we're not going to let you destroy the school. Don't worry, your time will come. Just like there will be a time where Hanover declares on me as well. But what I'm particularly hoping will happen was if I destroy the French in Europe, then in America they will form the United States. There is unused land suitable for plantations land. in this region. Plantations, yes, but there's only so much you can do. So you're still replenishing. You are it's in okay condition. They are just a bunch of scavengers once more. This army can leave the fort, I believe. Yes, you can. Take up an advanced position. Wait to see if they push. These guys still can't leave yet. No, not even if I tax you or exempt you from tax. Hmm. Recruit some dragoons to keep people on the right side. Let's start to move up our our Russian surprise armies. These armies are not worth taking, really. Wow, they've actually got an army back here for some reason. <laughs> They're not really worth taking, but but it's something we have to do. If I do that, very inefficient because I've got money to burn, but I could do with some Dragoon armies to act as police units, for want of a better word. So you're going to move up to here. Send this heavy privateer over to, yes, Crimea. There we go. You've moved up. Let's move you up to Jerusalem, which is ripe. You're about to have a fourth rate come over here, so I can afford to do some 
shenanigans. So disable the dockyard, disable your trade port, disable your shipyard, disable this dockyard, disable this commercial port, but critically, Thessaloniki. Every single dockyard you have on the Mediterranean I've raided in one turn. I could probably attack. Well, yes I will. Attack Salim Halem. Halim. Salim Halim. Now, let's make the transit of their armies even more complicated by cutting off their western front. So they can't transit the Dardanelles. Spam any more Armenian archers. Let's keep building stuff. Okay, let's take the Simon to Michael Horgan. Same to attack Suleimani Hilmi. But, looking at the timer, I think it's time to end this part. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for hopefully the destruction of one of the Ottoman raiding stacks. Cheers everyone.